Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins here, and we are going to play some Black Week. This is going to be a quick little tutorial video with a few snips of different activities, and so stay tuned and we're going to get jumping right into it. This is the very early access version. Uh, We've got Black Wake version 0.1.16 for you today. We're gonna have a quick look at a few things here. So you're gonna be able to play either as the pirates or as the British Navy. If you select player there, you can actually go ahead and choose a few things like the body type, the hair type, your beard. Uh, you can go bald, you can change the hair color. There are outfits, they're only available mostly as you level up uh, from experience through playing in the game. Uh, as well as some pretty funky hats, like these piratey hats, yar. You got some options you can mess with, uh, ambient volume and so on. The VoIP volume is your in-game uh, talk and it can be really cluttered, a lot of people play with it. I'm going to leave it off for some tutorial stuff. But uh, character voice volume is the uh, shouted commands that uh, are programmed voices. So we're going to have a look at servers, uh, just click servers and find one that uh, kind of suits your means. There's a whole bunch of things about ping and uh, team deathmatch. Most of the games are going to be team deathmatch. The one I'm going to be playing today is going to be a team deathmatch one versus one galley. You get to choose either the pirates or the British. Uh, you'll only get to choose um, either or if there's a, already a balance on the server. Next, it's going to actually let you choose which ship. This one only has one option on the bridge, but there will be others. And then you go ahead and spawn. You can see your ship there and the actual battle going on. Uh, click the spawn button to get in, into the game. You get to run around under decks. This is the Galleon, so it's got the most guns, the biggest uh, ship currently in the game. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is loadouts. You hit the M key to bring that up. And on the, on the right here, you're going to find uh, your main weapon, secondary melee special, and then the tool, which is your repair hammer. You don't get to choose the repair hammer, but we have some options for the others. We're going to choose the duck foot for the sidearm. We're going to switch to the melee here, and we can choose either rapier, cutlass, dagger, broken bottle. We'll go with the cutlass. Here you get to choose an important one. Health beverages lets you heal, grenades lets you, well, blow things up in the tomahawk for one-on-one -on -one kills. And then your main weapon is just a gun choice. The hand mortar is just going to lob grenades at the enemies. So to select those weapons, one is going to bring up your main weapon, two is going to bring up your pistol, three is going to bring up your handy dandy trusty sword, and then four will bring up your, in this case, grenades or your healing and or ha tomahawk. Uh, five is your repair tool, but we'll get to that later. So you're going to use your grenades by right-clicking to light it and left-clicking to hurl it at the enemy. A little far for that throw. Before we get to firing the guns, you're going to need to know how to get more supplies. So let's quick talk supplies. Your powder and uh, cannonballs are going to be in these boxes right in between the guns. And this guy's going to walk by with a pack. You can get those up at the top of the ship. And... Uh, then you can run them, run them down and put them in when there's a box that needs replacing like he just did. Alright, so we gotta learn a thing or two about repairing like this fine chap here is doing. So, we're gonna hit 5 and it's gonna bring up our repair hammer. Remember, in this case, we're gonna jump down into the water and we're looking around for bright green spots. There's one there. It's only gonna appear that way when you have your repair hammer in your hand, so go ahead and hit the 5 to bring that out. And while we're repairing things, let's see about repairing sails. What you're going to have to do to fix damage aloft is run up the rigging like that guy and normal hammer action, left mouse button to repair the sails. So sometimes your ship takes some damage that actually causes a fire to start on your ship and if you run into it, you're going to burn to death. To put a fire out, you're going to find these pails right here and then like this chap, you're going to toss water on the fire and make it steam out. And now to the fun stuff, uh, the cannonry. First thing we're going to look at is the swivel gun. Uh, as far as I understand, it's best at shooting sails. I haven't done much damage to it there, missed once. And I don't know if we hit this second time, because we start sinking. So if you'd rather make the other guy sink, when you're at a cannon, hit E to equip your tools. Uh, run over one of these supply boxes, you can pick up gunpowder like this. Hit left mouse button to pick, put it in. E also picks up the cannons, or the grape shot, or the grappler. Left mouse button to ram it all home, and then push E to put it in place. 
quite often you're going to find a time when those cannons and those swivels aren't going to do the job. You're going to pull out your cold steel using pistols or rifles, and sometimes one or two of these, my favorite weapons, look at the kill on the right, top right there, the grenade kill, this one is ridiculous, I didn't think I'd get that one, but bam, there's another kill. <laughs> So sometimes you're the one doing the shooting, doing the killing. Other times your team's going to be the one taking the hit. Sail damage, holes all over the place. Pump damage, ship is sinking, and walls blowing to bits. And if you start taking damage that doesn't manage to kill you, you better get your med kits going because, well, if you don't, what's next? And thank you so much, everyone. This has been Drake Hawkins. We've been playing some Black Wake. A quick look at it, and hopefully the tutorial has been helpful for you. If it has, please give us a thumbs up and uh, like the video. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe because I want to bring you some more great material from this and other games. If you're interested in playing some multiplayer, pop over, over to Facebook and send me a message on it. I'd love to play with some of you. And as always, I will see you in game.